me, please get the heck out the way. Excuse me, please get the heck out the way. Excuse me, please get the heck out the way. Godzilla Mo, Godzilla Mo, Godzilla, too cold, too quick, we lit. Best channel, we sick, took time for us to shine and drop down. Still time at the time, giving you mine. Plays for days, this is a craze. We love it, hot as the oven, still buzzing. Crazy, crossed over, still hooping, still juking. Crazy step back, bang that track. Gotta pause, just talk to you later, we'll be right back. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Godzilla Mode, and today I have another great video for you guys, alright? Now, look. In today's video, I will be showing you guys another episode of the Road to 250K tournament. Now, look, but we got a lot of upgrades to the squad and a lot of things that have happened since the last episode. But look, before we get into it, make sure you guys like the video because when you like the video, it helps get all my videos pushed on YouTube and then more, get my videos out to more people and things of that nature. Subscribe if you're new if, and if you like the content and comment down below. Who should I pick up for the squad, all right? So, like I said, we got Scotty Pippen, one of the best shooting guards in the game, in my opinion, the best. OG Ananobi, Anthony Davis, Hakeem, we don't have a point guard, all right? So, the reason are we only had 300,000 coins is because I did buy some players. I had to buy them so I can do challenges, as you guys see right here. Kawhi Leonard, Wood Chamberlain, Desmond Bain, all these guys I just bought to do the Spotlight Sim challenges. So, I'm going to go ahead and collect that money right there. Wood Chamberlain has money, money, money. Now, we're at 320. 26 that's exactly what you guys um well that's not exactly what we had before we had a little bit less than that but spotlight sim channel like i said in the previous video if you guys haven't seen it go check it out um like i said bro we had to get these done asap before i wanted to get them done this is, this has been recorded on the 12th i want to get it done on the 13th which is a day uh, a day after and like i said but we only got like two left so we got the rockets to complete we have the uh the jazz to complete most of these are just like one game left so just score 50 points and the game is over with which is probably going to take me about an hour maybe maybe an hour and a half and then i got to do this nuggets now the nuggets one is easy it's not that hard you just gotta win the game without getting blocked which is with three trail bridges which is not hard i have sabonis and clyde Drexler, so won't be that hard to do and then the next thing i want to do is the signature oh i don't know where that that one challenge for brian they must they probably took it out I want to do that LeBron challenge where you get like the, the the badges or something. They probably took it out. God, I missed it. Yeah, but it was a challenge where you get like 10 Hall of Fame badges or something like that. And I didn't do it, bro. I wish I would have did it, but I, I'm pretty sure they, sh they should have kept it in the game. I don't understand why they would take that out the game, but it, it's okay. It's not a big, I will say it's not a big deal because it is a big deal, but it is what it is. We just missed it and I should have did it before, but like i said i want to get that kg because he has that that jump shot the tim thomas jump shot the lamella ball jump shot and it's very cheesy and he's one of the best power four or center wherever you want to run him in nba 2k23 and like i said in the previous video i do need to go in here and sell my badges i tried to sell it like to my limited range nobody was buying it bro like, i mean it was going for like four thousand then it went down to five then six then i put it up i put it up for like two thousand cheaper nobody just buying it so but right here we, if these players said we should have a little bit more empty about 330 something 340 maybe and we could i don't know i don't know if i was want to uh spend money on a point guard right now because i still have like six or seven days left before the tournament and i'm just i might just use Kyrie, maybe maybe Kyrie, or what i'm going to do i'm just going to use where's he at the small four point guard or was it yeah him right here uh right here the tyreek evans car i don't know where his pink diamond is at i don't know where his position is but i did get the pink diamond uh tyreek evans i definitely want to use him as my point guard but i just i don't know where he went bro i was right here i gotta open up the pack but right here we're gonna go ahead and open up these packs right here we did get from competing some of the uh, spotlight sims we don't need no more shooting guards and we don't need no center especially a center with only 73 ball Cedric Sabalas is, I mean, it, it, that's just a pick if you want to get him, but Tyreek Evans is obvious, the obvious choice you need to get. He's a 6'6 point guard for free with an easy jump shot, and, and he has great defense. So, and that is the Southeast uh, pack. Now, this one wasn't, this one wasn't an easy choice because you do have, I mean, if you guys want to get Martian Gortat, I mean, that's up to you, but uh, it's between Dale Curry and 
DeAndre, DeAndre Hunter. Now, the reason I don't want to get Hunter is because I already have uh, so many small forwards already. And then maybe I can get him and put him on my bench small forward. But at the end of the day, I do need a backup point guard. And I, I mean, I do have Kyrie, but I don't think that um, Kyrie's, I think he's going to be too small. I just don't know. Do I get Dale Curry, 96 three ball? His defense is horrible. So I think I just go with DeAndre Hunter and then put him at my back of small four and get Gordon Hayward from out of there. Because I'm more of a defensive guy than offense. I'm just going to use Kyrie as my backup point guard. When, which I don't use my bench already. I don't use it that much. I use it like maybe two minutes in, like in the game and not, but not that long. I use my starters most of the game. But right here, we get to pick up from season three. We have like three of these cards, four of these cards. Uh, maybe Daryl Wallace by Petty or a Hall of Fame badge. Wow. I think I just might just get the Hall of Fame badge. I don't need none of these players. I, I did. I don't need none of these players right here. I'm just going to go ahead and get that Hall of Fame badge. That's a free Hall of Fame. I would definitely take that um, right there. And then let's go ahead and go to the squad. So this is what the squad is looking like after all the stuff we just did. Let's go ahead and add my boy. Where's he at? Where's he at? Tyreek Evans to the starting point guard position. Like I said, bro, he's 6'6 from Memphis. 87-3 uh, ball, 80, 80, 80, 80, 88, 84. Solid defense. Not the best defense, but he has solid defensive stats. And right here, he has 74, 64. And it's not the best, but it's it's um it's usable right now before we end up spending big money on a point guard, maybe Ben Simmons or Magic Johnson. All right. And then like I said, Kyrie Irving, bro, spotlight sim. He's 6'3", 97, three ball, uh, 75, 94, 89. Not the best, but he's usable in 2K23. Then we got Osman. Now, he's finna come out, Gordon Hayward, as much as I do love him. I've been using him for so long, but the Andre Hunter is going to be on the squad right here, bro. 91, three ball. Uh, look at his defense, bro. 86, 92, 92, 90. I mean, an 85 block. And then, he's like I said, he's 6'8". He's going to get the job done. That's exactly what you guys want. And I think um, maybe I am think I'm going to take out Seti Osman once I get the Dylan Brooks pack. And he will be my backup shooting guard because his defense is so good, bro. Like, his defense is so good. Dylan Brooks is insane, bro. So, he's going to be um, backup shooting guard. And I'm definitely going to look to upgrade my center position. But this is not right now. I'm not looking to spend it back on no players right now until like maybe two days before the tournament so i can just know who to get and what not to get but like these packs are i mean these packs are uh, this pack was horrible like i'm just gonna go ahead and say it. only good player was magic johnson and then right here i mean none of these players i mean you can i wouldn't spend a bag on none of these players like i wouldn't even spend a thousand a hundred thousand on none of these players not even Giannis, Brian, or Shaq, wherever you want to say. Um, but yeah, I like my squad the way it is. Like I said, Tyreek Evans is a guy I definitely want to use. Uh, even after I get another good point guard, maybe maybe he will hit the bench. But I don't know as of right now. But right now, he will be my point guard. Look at this, Tyreek Evans. He has a good dribble style. Oh, actually, his um his diamond one had a... I think he had a different dribble style. But his jump shot is easy to use. Um... He's like I said, his defense is not the best, but he's 6'6. Six, six. Like, because right now the point guards in the game is Ben Simmons. You got Magic Johnson. They're 6'9 and 6'11. You need height at the point guard position. And for free, I would definitely take a free uh point guard, especially Pink Diamond, who I can easily score with. I can do he has a regular leaner. You can do so much with uh Tyreek Evans, and he's like I said, he's a good card. He moves good. He's not, I mean, he's not the best point guard, but he can get the job done. All right. So next is who else did we just pick up? We picked up um DeAndre Hunter right here. Uh, let's go ahead. Look at now um, DeAndre Hunter is not really he's not gonna be a scorer, bro. He's mostly gonna be a three and D type guy, like a Trevor Reza or something. Wow, his jump shot is slow, but it's it'd be easy to grant. I won't say it's not I won't say it's the best jump shot, but it's not the worst jump shot. You will be able to green with DeAndre Hunter, but he's probably gonna get replaced. Like with this slow jump shot, he's gonna get replaced with Trevor Ariza when I do get to that pack. So Trevor Ariza and Dylan Brooks will be on the uh, be on the squad by next video. Oh, and then um also OG Ananobi will be on the bench. Uh he will replace Trevor Ariza 
once we get um, Andrew Wiggins, and Andrew Wiggins will be in the starting lineup at the start of, uh, starting small forward. And that's pretty much going to be the squad by the time you guys do see uh, the next video. Hopefully, that will be the squad. Uh, he, and he doesn't even have the regular normal leaner. So, yeah, he's definitely going to be up the squad. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, gameplay will be at the end of it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my Patreon link down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.